Hey, thank you for watching Chitra Rupa Yoga. Today, we're going to do some intervals on a slightly different timing than we've done in any of these videos before. You won't necessarily need any equipment, but if you do have some dumbbells and stuff nearby, I'll let you know when to use them. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and warm up. So let's take our march wide, and we're just going to roll down and up, warming up our spine. As always, if you need more of a warm up than we're about to do, there are several options linked below here in the description. Let's roll up halfway and take this side to side. Let's come up from here and take it to some squats. Four more. And tap. Let's start to reach forward. And reach up. So we're going to do a cardio move for 30 seconds at a steady pace, 15 seconds fast, 15 all out, reach front. Then we're gonna take a 15 second break and do 45 seconds of our muscle work. Then we're gonna go back to the cardio for 30, 15, 15, rest 15, let's go across, and then do our muscle for 45 seconds. We're gonna alternate some exercises in those moments. And in about 20 minutes, we will have worked our whole body and gotten a full cardio. Let's reach to the front. So a lot of bang for your buck right here. Let's take it back to our march. <clears throat> Two big breaths. And then take it to a few more squats where we're gonna add a little twist. Get our spine fully warmed up. Most of our muscle, major muscle groups. One more. And we'll take it to our pelvic tilts with a chest squeeze. And real quick, let's get our backside, and then we should be ready to go, unless you want to go do more. And march. So we're going to start our first interval. It's going to be with dumbbells if you want them. We're going to squat, push our triceps back, squat, squish our glute, squat, press the triceps, squat, press through the glute. So that's going to be 30 seconds, 15, 15. Then we'll take a 15 second break where we're going to take it to some rows with our dumbbells for 45 seconds. The second round, we're going to work our chest. You'll figure it out. So let's do a recovery move here for five more seconds. Then we'll start with that squat. Here we go. So just a steady state here, steady pace. Oops, I did this. Squat. Tricep squat glute. Squat, tricep squat glute. So we'll keep doing this for 30 seconds as we work on the entire back side of our body. Just a couple seconds, we're going to speed this up. Here we go, faster. And get ready to go all out intensity. If you want to do just the squats, do just the squats. Here we go, faster. Almost there. All right, rest for 15. Grab some bigger dumbbells if you want. We're going to take it 
to rows. So we're going to hinge about halfway forward, lift through the navel. We're going to press our elbows up. Here we go. Up and like we're going to tap our elbows behind us. We're going to stay here for 45 seconds. Making sure to breathe through our mouth when we get to that point. If we're working at maximum intensity, should already be there. 15 seconds down. When we finish this, we're going to go back to the squats. 30 seconds steady. 15 fast, 15 all out. 15 seconds left of this. Keep the belly button up. If you need to, lift up a little higher. Squeezing the elbows up and in. Breathing. Almost there. Let's bring ourselves up right. Here we go. Squat, press, squat, press, squat. Arms, squat, leg. Steady, slower pace here. It can even be even slower. Give yourself a little more leeway on the fast part. All right, get ready to speed it up. Whatever that means for you, here we go. Squeezing through the glutes. All right, almost ready. Here we go, even faster. Even if you just wanna do squats. We'll take a 15 second rest. In five, four, three, two, one. So we're going to work our chest next. So it's up to you if you want to hang on to the dumbbells. We're going to kind of shrug the shoulders back, elbows wide, squeeze through the chest muscles. Here we go. So we can keep moving our feet here. We can lay still. If our heart rate's gotten up, we may want to uh, keep moving in some fashion. That's 15 seconds. Squeeze through the chest. We will be finished with this set of exercises in 20 seconds. And we'll take a little break. Move on to the next set of exercises. 15 seconds to go. Keep squeezing through the chest. Squeeze the chest. Almost there. Five seconds. All right, shake that out. Make sure to get water if you have it handy. Make sure to have it handy. Because the more we breathe through the mouth, the drier the mouth gets. Let's give ourselves a little hug here. And a little stretch to the backs of the legs. Stay standing upright. Reach back and stretch the chest. We will stretch out a little more when we're done the next two sets. Let's take the other arm on top. And one more time back. So this time we are going to jump rope or at least go through the motions of jumping rope. If you have one, feel free to use it. Start slow, go faster, and then all out which means we can start with that jogging variation or march variation, take it to a jogging variation and then a jump at the end. We will do forward the first round, backward the second round, and we are going to work on biceps the first round and shoulders the second round. All right, so let's find our recovery move, our resting move. We will start this one in 10 seconds. Remember, keep the spine stacked, chest up. Let's go ahead and get that jump rope pulled into our elbows to our ribs. Here we go. So find your steady pace. Remember, we're getting the arms in here, forearms and wrists. Fifteen more seconds at our steady pace. ready to increase that pace even if it's just a little bit here we go and then we want to level up to maximum 
when we get to the next bit in five seconds. Here we go. We will rest in five. All right, take a rest. If you have some light dumbbells you want to use for biceps, take a moment to grab those to make sure you can set them down again so you can pick up your jump rope. All right, get ready. Bicep curls right here. So we can do both together. If you want to keep walking, I like to do that and alternate. We're going all the way up, all the way down. And we've done 15 seconds already. Remember, you can do both together or depending on your body, one and then the other. All right, so we're all finding what works for us. And we're gonna go back to here. 15 seconds, and then we'll set the dumbbells down and grab our jump rope, twirling it backwards this time. Three, two, one, set that down, grab your jump rope, steady pace. Now your steady can be faster than this. Remember, get the forearms on the wrist in here. Getting ready to bump it up in four, three, two. Here we go, something at least a little faster. Maybe even jumping at this point and then jumping faster. Keep going, keep breathing, get ready. Here we go, ultimate highest intensity. Almost there, it won't take. Ooh. All right, 15 second rest. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells again for working our shoulders. Whew. Go ahead and get ready. We're gonna pray, place the hands, palms toward us in front of our shoulders. Here we go. Twist forward as we come up, twist back in as we come down. Take this at your own pace, one arm at a time, depending on how our own shoulders are feeling today. 15 seconds done. So remember, we can keep ourselves moving a little bit here. We don't want to just stop moving. 15 seconds to go. Now we'll take a bigger break, a little bit of stretching, moving on to our last set of exercises, completely finishing off all our major muscle groups. One more, rest, set those aside. Find your resting move. If you've got room to walk around, walk around. And as always, get a little bit of water too. Let's open up through our chest again. Stretching out our arms, the fronts of our shoulders, keeping our feet moving. We don't want to just stop, not yet. So our last set of exercises, our cardio is going to be a run. So we can start with a walk, a jog, and then a run, or a jog, a run, and an all-out run, or sprint. And then we're going to take it to a lunge, maybe holding a dumbbell here, twist. All right, so we'll do 45 seconds one side, 45 the other side. So get ready, our last set coming up right here, march or jog. I'm going to do a march jog run, but you can do a jog run sprint. My floor just makes so much noise and shakes. I don't want to take a chance of knocking my camera over. 10 seconds, we'll pick it up. Get up ready. All right, take it to the jog or the run. Too. Here we go. 
So get ready to sprint if you're running. Run if you're jogging. Here we go. Whatever would be all out for you, all right? And if you do have room to move around, be careful that you don't slip on anything. We'll take our break. Three, two, one, break. So if you want to use a small dumbbell, grab a dumbbell, well, even a big one. These are large muscles that we're going to be working here. Let's go ahead and find a lunge on the back toes, hip distance, shoulders starting over the hips, spine long. Here we go. Twist past the knee to the knee. Whoops. Maybe keep your gaze forward so you don't lose your balance. Keep breathing. Inhale front, exhale twist, 15 done. We're almost there on this one. Find a way to breathe. Moving through the core, the oblique muscles. 30 done, 15 to go. And then we're gonna go right back to that run. So set the dumbbell down, go back to the walk or jog. Get ready. Here we go. Go ahead and set that down. Jog or march. Last two minutes of this main workout and then we will cool down and stretch it out. 15 seconds, we're gonna bump it up. Keep breathing. By the time we finish the next 30 seconds, should be breathing heavy. Get ready to kick it up. Go, jog or run. Get ready to kick it up. Final sprint. Here we go. We'll take our 15 second rest when we're done. Okay, 15 second rest, and then we're gonna twist our other side. And then we will cool down, stretch it out. All right, so go ahead, grab the dumbbell if you wanna use it. Separate the feet hip distance this way, stay on the back toes. Here we go. Pass the knee to the knee. Keeping our gaze forward for balance. We also wanna keep our spine tall for balance. Keep breathing. 15 done. Almost there. Work from the waist. Almost. 30 done. Last few seconds coming up. Get ready. We have worked our whole body. We are going to take this to a recovery move. In three, two, one, let's do some heel taps. So we want to keep our arms swinging too. If you have room to move around, walk around a little bit instead. Very good. So we have gotten ourselves a mighty meaty workout. Let's go ahead and take this to some active stretches. So we're going to keep that going while we stretch out our tricep. And there are some links to eager stretches below in the description. I would appreciate you leaving me some comments below under the description. Let's switch arms. All right, we're going to double up on our stretches, taking it wide, one arm over the other. Let's lunge to one side, keeping our head above our heart. Switch sides and arms. Making sure we take time to stretch everything out. It does help us prevent a little bit of soreness, but it also helps us increase our flexibility. So let's come halfway forward or a little higher, especially if we're still breathing kind of hard. We are gonna work on some balance here in just a moment. Lift up and do some side stretches first. Feet hip distance together. 
Little crossed over. Checking in with our breath again. Other side. You can also give me a thumbs up if you like the video, but do leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Let's take it to our balance. Hold on to something if you need to. We're gonna lift that one foot up. Grab it if you want. And also, if you're watching this video, please consider subscribing. There's a little square down in the right corner of the video that you can hover with your mouse over and subscribe to the channel. I would very much appreciate that. I have to get a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in a year to qualify to monetize the channel. I would really appreciate your help with that. It's free to subscribe, free to watch. Let's release from here. One more quick balance one. Stretching out our hips. Let's press our hands out to stretch them as well. Switch sides. We'll push the backs of the hands out this time. As always, I appreciate you joining me. I look forward to next time. Let's bring it up. Nice deep breath. One more. And I will see you next time.